one thing I'm very interested in hearing uh, kind of from both you is really um, what, it, what is your objective for kind of the UCR entrepreneurship, what you're trying to uh, do with the, the uh, whole Blackstone Launchpad, but these kind of uh, cross collaborations between different entrepreneurs and residents? Is there uh, an objective which both of you are trying to reach? I would say that mainly from the Blackstone Launchpad Perspective program is that we are trying now to get more undergrad students interested in entrepreneurship and starting their own ventures. Uh, UCR in all all the entrepreneurship uh, uh, efforts started recently. So just as soon as our boss Rosa Bolachova reached, came to UCR and she started to implement a lot of programs and that when the entrepreneurial ecosystem at UCR started to really build and shine and uh, all the programs right now are really trying to help students transform their research, commercialize it and really try to build that ecosystem and get a good relationship and partnership with the city and the governor office and all that so that it's not a just the university's offer it's everyone's offer to really build that so that's what trying to build relationship and as Mihai mentioned it's now more going towards sustainability and helping with social uh, entrepreneurship and how I see it from the undergrad students perspective is that they don't like the word entrepreneur they don't see themselves as entrepreneurs but they really see themselves as changing the world change makers you know so that is also why we're taking it from that aspect but uh, it's a lot of efforts uh, it does take time it's not something that uh, you'll see the results in one year it does take time and we're trying now for the long run and the long goals that hopefully uh, at in, I don't know, three to five years, you'll start to see that the ecosystem in the whole Riverside is really starting to build. And you'll see people, instead of leaving uh, Riverside to go work in Silicon Valley or even to the coast, that they are remaining and staying and joining other startups in Riverside uh, instead of leaving. And I think, you know, on the side of social entrepreneurship, to my surprise, when I came to the Inland Empire about three years ago uh, and I started Seed Lab, which initially was part of the Center for Social Innovation, the idea of having social impact and was very much related to the nonprofit sector. Yep. And when we started recruiting for our first cohort of, for Seed Lab, a lot of people, you know, they've been doing work in their communities for years, huge impact. First of all, they never thought about themselves as entrepreneurs. So, you know, exactly what May was mentioning, I'm not even talking about change makers. Their main idea was, you know, I'm doing something for the community. Once you started talking to them and kind of not necessarily teach them, but explain them, you know, what they are doing is actually uh, impacting the community, has social impact, they immediately thought about, oh, so then I should start a nonprofit, which, we are tr not necessarily that we are trying to discourage that path, but even if they decide to uh, adopt a nonprofit model and you know become a 501c3, they need to understand that at the end of the day, it's still a business. They will have payrolls to pay, uh, rent, uh, and just relying on donations and grants is no longer a sustainable way of doing business, even in the nonprofit sector.